Hi guys, Brad here. Just giving you a run through of the Webby online video meeting room. And I'll also have a link to a user manual in the description below. So the hardware needed to get onto the Webby site is simply any laptop that has an inbuilt microphone and webcam or if you're on a desktop PC a simple USB webcam with an inbuilt microphone is all you need these are plug and play so really easy to set up um, other than that Google Chrome's the best browser to use but other browsers do work okay um, and it's pretty much as simple as click there's no sign up no nothing um, and you're into the room so it is handy to read the user manual that I've put below but we'll jump over into the room and I'll, I'll show you how easy it is to get in there so from the email link that's sent out for the meeting it's as simple as clicking on the link it'll take you directly over to the Webby site you'll be asked to enter your name which is just so everyone else in the room can see and then know who you are if they have not met you before from here you'll be asked for some devices currently mine do not come up because I'm recording this video but here you can normally get a preview of your default devices and unless you're running multiple devices default is all that anyone needs to know uh, from there you'll normally get a, a join meeting in the blue um, click on that and it'll take you directly into the meeting so once you're in the meeting you're greeted with the format up here in the top right hand corner the little gear this is your settings click on that you'll be opening up a window with a device tab from here you can then select usually there will be three outputs uh, webcam microphone and speakers you can choose your devices there if you are running more than one device in any of those categories down the bottom you have six icons normally these are all just left as blank black icons but due to me having no webcam my first two are actually blanked out but this here is to hide or make visible your webcam there's also a keyboard shortcut of C second one is your microphone to mute or unmute yourself keyboard shortcut for that is M share screen is the third from here you have the ability to select any thing that you are watching on your screen so if you had another tab open in Google Chrome with a YouTube video you could click over onto that and share the screen now you'll see oh, I'm actually running two screens so I have the ability to share either of those screens and what's on those so this is handy for sharing YouTube videos or sharing pictures or whatnot other websites the next window over is a chat window it'll open up over the side and this allows you to enter websites links contact details email addresses and whatnot everyone in the the room is able to view that chat window people this will show you a list of every participant in the room any of these first five squares will be shown as red if you have them selected um, mainly the two front ones will be the noticeable red is inactive uh, 
black or plain means they're active. The last square or icon is the leave. This here will close your webcam and microphone settings on your way out of the room. The only other option is in the top right hand corner of every video displayed in the meeting you have a number of options. Now on your own personal video you have the ability to minimize and maximize the size of the video or you can also turn it to full screen which means that you'll only be able to see yourself on the full screen without anyone else in the meeting. This only affects your current view, it doesn't affect anyone else in the meeting. And likewise, if this was another participant, they would also have the three little dots in the top right hand corner. They will actually have a mute function, so you can mute them so you cannot hear them. They'll also have minimize and maximize. So if, for example, this was the host and you'd like to turn their video portion onto full screen for yourself, you can simply click on the full screen. You'll be able to visually see them on a full screen uh, and none of these affect anyone else in the meeting except for your own personal view. So that's pretty much the workings of Webby. Uh, definitely have a look at the manual in the description below and have a read through that. Other than that, jump in and have a go and try to join in on one of the, the nightly chats with any questions. Thanks guys.